say hello to Shakespeare. He's a goldfish that came to us with a small tumor over his left gill plate. While we don't know how serious it is, the owner would like it removed to try and find out what it is, and hopefully it won't spread and cause further problems. Shakespeare is about 10 years old, and we are going to anesthetize him in this water bath that contains MS-222, an anesthetic for fish and amphibians. Here we can see Shakespeare in his tank of induction water. This uses a higher concentration of anesthetic agent to help him fall asleep gently. We'll dilute that later with fresh water to make sure that he's not at too high a level and maintains a proper surgical plane of anesthesia. It's been a couple minutes and he's getting a little bit sleepier now. He's not moving around as much even when we're disturbing him. Soon he's going to not be able to keep himself righted and won't react when we pick him up or pinch his tail. Here we can see Shakespeare has been moved out of the induction tank and is now having anesthetic run over his gills through a, a recirculating water pump. This will move fresh water over the gills maintaining oxygen flow while allowing us to keep him out of the water and keep a cleaner environment to work in. Now that Shakespeare is at a proper depth of anesthesia, we can begin our surgery. He's sleepy enough that he shouldn't feel any discomfort and we're only going through the top layer of skin to remove this tumor. As you can see, it's over the gill plate and very close to the eye, so we're not able to have very wide margins to remove this tumor. It should be able to be removed completely, and if it's benign, hopefully we won't see any regrowth from that area. Once it's removed, we will try and scrape away any residual cells from the bottom of the tissue bed where it was seated in place. Can you get a form one jar? Where do we go in here? Mm -hmm. There should be one right up there. Mass is off now. There's a bit of a divot here. We're going to try to scrape the bed in case there's tumor cells or any infectious agents that are still in there. Actually, let's just put some gauze right now. We're gonna get a cytology of it before we fix it in formula. A few minutes after surgery, Shakespeare is moving around normally, looking bright and alert, and appears to be recovering well.